If an Arab Palestinian takes a bullet to a woman's breast and kills her child and kills her, is that acceptable? Now, if that woman is Jewish, is that acceptable? There is the difference. Because according to the world, if she's not Jewish, it's not acceptable. But if she's Jewish, it is acceptable. Jewish blood is not cheap. But yet, over and all, the world says that Jewish blood is cheap. And the Jewish people accept that. The Jewish people must, must, realize this fact. We are on it on our own. There's only one hope, God and ourselves. Embargoes can fall upon us, so be it. But if we go and take our armies into Oman, Damascus, Cairo, the embargoes will be lifted. Line in, we must remove the Palestinians from the region. If we do not, then we will constantly have to live with terror. We will constantly have to live with people trying to kill in our own backyard. You know, it's one thing for the army to be shooting on the borders of, of, of our territory. It's another thing to be shooting in our backyard. And that's what's happening right now. And the world says, Israel deal with it. Israel accept it. Because Jewish blood to the world is cheap. Even though they are fascinated. They are um, obsessed with Judaism. They still say Judaism is something to be conquered, not something to be lived. We as Jewish people must take action. Attacking Gaza, bombing Gaza is not enough. We must bomb Gaza and throw the Palestinians out, remove the gates of Gaza and throw them into to, to Egypt. And if Egypt doesn't like it, attack Egypt. If, you know, attack the, the, the West Bank because they themselves are ready to attack us. Don't think that they don't have bombs. Don't think that they are not ready to bomb Israel. They have that capability and they are ready. Throw them into Jordan. And if they don't like it in Jordan, attack Amman and take Amman. And by taking Cairo and taking Amman, we can make peace in the Middle East because the world will accept that the Palestinians are gone and that we have a greater area and that they will say, you know, give us back Cairo, give us back Amman and we'll make peace. And the Arabs will do the same. By hesitating in this, by holding back, we put ourselves in a greater situation of risk for the greater future that we will ultimately face even more devastation in the future. We must take action now. We must be realistic. We must understand the world is against us and nobody's there to help us except ourselves and God. America gives their support. But that support is not reliable for a greater situation. The fact that Israel is facing criminal charges against the UN and Britain and even America is questioning this tells us that we have no allies in the world but ourselves. Israel is alone and we must take action now before it is too late because that is our destiny and that is our reality for today. Amen. Thank you.